Alright, this will be take two because first time I forgot to turn on my microphone. It's just been one of those days. <laughs> on my single coil it's uh, a lot clearer but you know humbuckers sometimes you know, they have that little added spice to them uh, it runs on a 9 volt battery or you can plug it into the wall it has a tuner I said headphone jack it's got an output jack for speakers and it's got an auxiliary in and that's it there's no reverb there's nothing just a straight simple amp which is what I adore about it because when I play all, all I usually play are uh, chords like that and I want to make sure that I sound all the strings properly And I don't want to have to uh, uh, disrupt other people in the family, especially the kids, because they whine whenever they can't hear their uh, video games or YouTube or whatever the hell they're watching. I'm just kidding. I don't like to make a lot of noise, because I know it's really annoying when all you hear all day. Up on me, so I do a lot of scales, arpeggios, and whatnot. And drives the family nuts. And this is actually a lot quieter than my acoustic guitar. And it's only the size of my coffee cup almost, practically. <laughs> but there you have it. That's what the Orange Crush sounds like. Um, when I get my single coil out, that the single coil gets, uh, that's, that's a Strat style. When I get that out, maybe I'll do another one so I'll show you how it sounds with single coils. But I mean, it just. I don't know. Hopefully. 
you can hear. Hopefully I turn on the microphone this time and it's working. But that's that's the Orange Crush Mini Amp in a nutshell. Uh, not a lot of people. I didn't see a lot of videos where people are just playing out of it and showing you what it looked like and what it sounded like. I heard a lot of reviews where people are just saying it's junky and it didn't sound good, but I don't know. It sounds great to me. And it, it doesn't have a lot of options, which I love about it because I just want to hear what I'm playing. And that's what a practice amp is supposed to do. It's supposed to just play what you're, it's supposed to just sound out what you're playing so when you're making a mistake, you can correct it. But there you have it. I don't know what else to say. So, uh, bye. <laughs>